Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Yay! In the last episode, we we started the post game, and we went to one island to investigate a new cave that was formed since we beat the game, uh, and we defeated Team Rocket there, and we also got a ruby and gave it back to Celio here, and now he has given us access to go to four island, five island, six island, and seven island. But the, but the true question is, do we get emerald? best of the three. <laughs> no, unfortunately we don't. Unfortunately. Damn! <laughs> so, our task is we have to go to Four Island. We'll start our search there at Four Island. But we're going to be trying to find the Sapphire for him, so that way we can fix his machine. Oh. As okay. soon as we arrive here, though, our rival comes over and tells us, hey, hey he's at Four Island, too. What are you doing here in the Sevy Isles? You should quit copying me, you know? Anyway, I already got my Pokemon eggs, so I'm done with this island. Heh, <laughs> I bet you don't even know about Pokemon eggs. They'll never fill up your national Pokedex that way. By the way, I saw someone we both know on this island. Why don't you go look around if it makes you curious? Me, I don't have time to waste. Be smelling ya! Yeah, Four Island's kind of a really short island, by the way. Oh, the um, there is a rock smash up here, I forgot to mention. Um, oh. Just one. I've, uh, but Four Island has a couple of interesting things Mars here. Um, yeah, if we go into this lady's house, if you notice, this is Lorelei's house. This is where the Elite Four member of Lorelei lives. And as you can see, she has a bunch of Pokemon dolls in her house. Yeah, stuff Pokemon d dolls galore. Oh my god! Seal! Yeah, seals and Pikachus and slow pokes and slow bros, everything. If you talk to a little girl here, she'll she'll say something about it. Oh, you found me! Please don't tell Lorelai. Did you know that Lorelai has a lot of st lots and lots of stuffed dolls? Every time she comes back to Four Island, her collection grows. And actually, that is true. I think if I can't remember, I think it's every time you beat the Elite Four 25 times, she adds another doll to her collection. 25 times. I think that's the number. Wow. I think that's what it is. Okay. This guy here has something too. He says, Giggle, I collected a ton of stickers. I wish I could show them off. Oh, excellent. You've come to the right place. Look, look, see, see? These are my stickers. Now look how many I've got. I bet you want some. I bet you do. I'll give you a sticker if you could tell me something awesome about yourself. What will you brag about? Hall of Fame. Fame. Oh, wow. You made it into the Hall of Fame. That's pretty good. Uh, yep. Yeah, these are good for you then. Got the Hall of Fame sticker to put added to your trainer card. Oh, that's neat. Okay, pretty much. So if you look at your trainer card, and you look, and you, one thing I want to notice, when we beat the Elite Four too, our trainer card changed. Did you see how different color it is? Yeah. What was it like? White. It, it was blue it was last blue. time. Now it's like a green. They kind of got a bronze uh, card now. That's because we beat the game. But if you look on the back there. On the back of your card, I, I know I haven't updated my my roster picture yet. Um, if you see the little um, thing right next to your trainer name, the little like Pokeball like thing sticker there, that's the sticker he was talking about. He gives you a sticker for every accomplishment. I can't remember what all the accomplishments are, but I'm pretty sure Pokedex is one of them. So we'll be coming back to him there later. Oh, okay. So he adds stuff for your accomplishments. That's another thing. Uh, hear about, uh, not at the Mart, but, um, I mean, the Mart's here, you can get Ultra Balls and stuff if you need to. We're not gonna be doing that. Um, here, up, up, up front here, not at the Pokemon Center. Didn't mean to go I there. didn't mean to go in there, but that's okay. Uh, this is the daycare. We've seen a daycare before, but this daycare is different. This daycare, okay, the last daycare we saw in... Uh, outside Cerulean City could only take care of one Pokemon at a time. This right here actually takes care of two. Two Pokemon. And if you leave uh, two Pokemon of the, of the same egg group, a male and a female, they can have a high possibility of laying an egg. A Pokemon egg. And well, the egg will be uh, a newborn Pokemon, level 5 in this game. Um, it would be whatever the whatever species the mom is, and it will inherit the moves of the dad. The 
dad will teach it moves that it knows. So that's how you breed Pokemon. This is a, a, a new implication here. Ooh, found a star piece. That's what was behind the rock smash, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, that is a new mechanic that was added into this game after the post game. So that if that's it there if you want to do that. We're going to be actually getting a Pokemon egg here in a little bit. And the way Pokemon eggs work is... Oh, you can teach Body Slam. Yeah, that's the other thing in the cave, uh, in, the, in this island too that you could do. Is um, go in that house and like, those guys will teach you Body Slam if you haven't known it. But that is another thing you could do in this game is uh, breed Pokemon. Oh my god, look through your fucking... I know, I, I love the, the details in this game. But yeah, if you... uh. If you have a Pokemon egg in your party, it'll take up a team member slot. And, no, and based on how many steps you take, it'll gradually become more likely to hatch. And after you take a certain number of steps, it will hatch into a Pokemon that is of uh, the species that I told you, the species of the mall. So, that's how you breed Pokemon. Basically, like every Pokemon yeah. game at that point. Ooh, chili. I made a slushy using an ice shaved in the ice ball cave. Chili and tasty. Now, this is our next destination, is the Ice Bowl Cave, which is at the back of Four Island. Ice Bowl Cave is yet another seafoam-like island, a seafoam island-like dungeon, where we're going to have not only the introduction of, of a, a more ice-type Pokemon, but we got a new HM we have to get. This is Waterfall. This is a waterfall we can't climb yet. We're gonna have to have the move Waterfall in order to do that. Now, this is another thing with Ice Pole Cave has new Pokemon in it. And this is our first version exclusives of these new Pokemon. <laughs> I, I know, Wooper is so adorable. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. I love him to death. Um, Wooper is a water Whoa. ground type Pokemon. It is a water ground type Pokemon that's found in Amber's game, in Fire Red version. In my version, I can find Meryl. Meryl is a water-type Pokemon that was the fabled Pika Blue back in the yeah, day. Yeah, the blue Pikachu. Yeah. Oh, uh, God, I can already see what's going on with this pattern. Yeah, so this dungeon's gimmick is basic, and you can also find this Pokemon. Before we get into it anymore, found another Pokemon. This is Swinub. This is an ice ground-type Pokemon. He gets better in later ver later. Uh, games, honestly. But him and his evolved form, Piloswine, a really good po good ice-type Pokemon if you just want to have a good ice-type Pokemon. They're good because they have the ground-type on them. So. But Piloswine, I think it evolved at like level 30-something. I can't remember. But, anyways, the, the, the thing is with this dungeon is the ice on the cave here. You step on, eat on the cave, on the ice, it cracks. If you step on it again when it's cracked, you fall down. You fall down into the lower level. So be mindful where you do. Um, right here, there's two options. So you can either fall down in two spots here. Uh, I don't know which one. <laughs> uh, I think you try the one in front of you, and I'll try the one that, that, up here. Bye bye. <laughs> Ow. Okay, now. That just leads you, That's the, I think that's the wrong way. So if you go up the stairs, uh, because you're blocked, yeah. Uh, yeah, you could go up here. We could go up this way, and this leads over to this way here. But I'm not going to go down this way, because there's other things that we need to get. We got more ice sliding puzzles. Whee! Oh, lordy, if you can remember. Oh, actually, we can't even do anything, so I have to go up the ladder. So you want to go up. Damn it! Up. Yeah, I just saw what you just did. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I don't like ice physics. I don't like ice physics either. This, honestly, funny story back in Gold and Silver days. That was literally what stumped me for the longest time. Alright, so I found I fell down the top layer and I landed right here and I could get the Never Melt Ice. The Never Melt Ice is an item that, if held by a Pokemon, increases its ice moves by 30%, I think. Okay. So I'm going to fall down here. We can land right here and we can beat the puzzle pretty I much. think pretty much. There's more ice sliding puzzles. I don't like these things, but this one's easy enough. It's not like it's not like the ice path hard. I don't like the ice path hard. No. Okay. But yeah, there's another Pokemon. There's another set of Pokemon that are in this, this cave. It's in later later versions of the cave. Um 
The Pokemon question are Sneasel and Delibird. I think Sneasel's in your game and Delibird's in mine. Delibird is a useless Pokemon. Don't bother catching it. You, all it, it does is All it knows is one move. It's an ice blind type, and all it knows is Present, which is a move that can do little damage, or it can just flat out heal the, your opponent. It's pointless. It doesn't learn anything else. It's it's a useless Pokemon. Don't even bother. Sneeze, on the other hand, is some sort of a some sort of a <laughs> viability. He doesn't get his evolve form in these games, unlike later games. But Sneasel is actually a pretty decent Pokemon, a little bit. He's a, more of an attacker than a, than anything else. And it knows, like, Slash and all that other stuff. It's a pretty good Pokemon. I don't know if we're going to run into it, but... Alright, we got uh, HMO7, Surf... Or, no, Surf. <laughs> I meant Waterfall. You're used to just getting yeah. Surf. Alright, so we're going to have to use... Unfortunately, we're going to have to use Waterfall in this game. Um, it's a good move, though. I actually might teach him my Dragonite. It's actually a physical... Well, no, that's before the physical special split. You're getting I'm all sorry, confused. I'm getting all confused. Uh, what can I get rid of? I'll get rid of Slam, for sure. Waterfall's a good move, though. Oh, boy. Um, Ooh. Uh, for I you... I have to, I have to. Um... I don't know what to get rid of. I don't really use Blizzard that much, to be honest. You don't use Blizzard that much? That's okay. And I like Ice Beam. And I like Hydro Pump, even though it's meh. Yeah. Blizzard has a really bad accuracy. Yeah. So, I'm I don't blame like you. Blizzard. That's okay. I'm gonna teach... Uh, the, the Waterfall is temporary for right now, because I think... I want to say that this is the only place that actually uses Waterfall, but I'm not too sure... If it's the only place, I'm going to be actually upset about that, because that's kind of stupid. Wait, did you... I guess we don't need to go up there. Yeah. No, you're, you're done. There, there's the Pokemon. It's in your game. Deli you Bird. get Delibird, and I get Sneasel. Okay. Man, I'd rather have Sneasel. Yeah. Either way, it's not really a good Pokemon anyways. Alright, time to go up. Yeah, so you gotta use Waterfall here in order to get uh, further on in the cave here. Far around. Sit here. And this leads over to this cave right here. And then that, then once we get into that part, we are going to be fighting a couple of uh, trainers above here. So just be have your team ready whenever you get to this part because it's kind of kind of. Do you a have repel? Bit... No. I just have been lucky with a. <laughs> don't go. Don't, don't jump that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go in here. Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in this cave. Do as I say, or you'll have me to answer to. Ah, shut it, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They've been catching Pokemon here and selling them off. Are you ready? You take that one, please. Alright, so we're gonna fight this. Oh, two. she. No! She's the one with the two trade. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who says we, can, we can't do what we want with these Pokemon we catch? Says me, because, you know, your team's supposed to be disbanded. Yeah, like, didn't you hear you guys, uh, Giovanni, say that? Yeah. Huh? Like I said, th these rocket grunts are kind of pathetic, because, especially since we're such high levels as we are. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't even bother increasing the, you know, and, and later another remake, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they actually increased the level levels of the Pokemon that you, the trainers you fight to a lot well, higher levels, kind of yeah. match the fact that you are that level. So I don't know why they didn't do it here in this remake, but I fun. guess I didn't think about it at the time. Yeah, level, level 38 is kind of ridiculous. I mean, at the point of the game. You've already fought a Pokemon that's like level 63. So, I don't understand why. I mean, we're the champions for Pete's sake. Come yeah, on. we're the champions for Pete's sake. <laughs> I need a level of a little bit. That's okay, I, I kind of have to do the same with the last quiz. Our poor starters, they yeah. always get left in dust. <laughs> 
so desperate, desperate, despicably weak. You, tell me, where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all. N no way, I'm not telling you that. If you won't confess, I will deep freeze you. <laughs> My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go, Lapras, Ice Beam! Oh my god, she's serious! <laughs> wow, okay, I'll talk! The Pokemon are at the Rocket Warehouse of Five Island! There, I said it! We'll be going now! But I doubt you'll ever make it to the Rocket Warehouse. <laughs> Y'all better run! Matthew, thank you. This, is, this has been awful. I was born and raised here on these islands. I had no idea that these horrible criminals were lo were loose here. That's all she'll say. Um, in this cave is kind of special. Um, you can catch a couple. You can catch a special Pokemon here. At one percent chance encounter rate in the water, you will find Lapras. So the Lapras that you get in Saffron City isn't the only Lapras you can get in the game. It is, there's a wild Lapras here in this cave. So if you if you are lucky and you run into it, you can find a wild lapras here in the water. Okay. So that is kind of cool. Uh, like I said, you can catch I think Sneasel and Delibird, Wooper, Merrill here too, and Swinub. So there's a bunch of new Pokemon in this cave. So there's that. Now before we uh, get too far, now that we know our next destination, we actually have to go to Five Island to kind of check something. They said they, they told us that Five Island uh, has the rocket warehouse on there. Yeah. So there's nothing else to do here. Four Island, Four Island's only really useful if you're gonna breed Pokemon. It's not useful for anything else besides that cave. That's it. So. Hey, we did get a new HM. Yeah, we did get a new HM with uh, the waterfall. Can I say like, I know a lot of people hate HMs, but I don't really mind them, especially now that the new Pokemon kind of got. Rid of HMs. Yeah, and the new Pokemon games got just flew the flat out just got rid of it and got uh, got rid of them. So we're gonna go over to File Five Island next. Um, we're gonna check something here. There's gonna be a couple of trainer fights along the way, but other than that, we'll be all right. <laughs> okay, let's go to Five Island. But no, I don't hate HMs, and I know a lot of people's like, well, having an HM slave is kind of stupid because you got to keep switching in and out. I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't so... mind it either. So this is Five Island. Five Island's really big here. Um, yeah, if you talk to this here, I think he has... Oh, no. I was thinking something else. Five Island doesn't have very much on it. No. It's a tiny island. Yeah. I could tell. If we go in this guy's house, or this uh, person's house, uh, Meadow belonged to our family of gen for generations. I should have had a giant mansion built on it. It would have been pre preferable to have having those thugs run around on it. The thing is, though, uh, they said there's a meadow on this island, and but no one can play on it because, well, they built something. They on built it. something on it. But we're gonna go over to the meadow real quick before we end this episode, and we're gonna go investigate this this uh, hi this warehouse that they built. This is Five Isle Meadow. Uh, we need cut. Damn it! Forgot about that. Oh, That's okay. We'll come back to it later. Uh, the new Pokemon on this is Sentret. You remember Sentret? He's so cute! Sentret is basically Gen 2's version of Rattata. It has, it's the first Pokemon you run into in the wild, and it's really kind of... meh, really. It's it's a mediocre stat. It evolves into a Furret, which is really cute. I really like those Pokemon, especially since um, they're actually it's actually one of my, my uh, good friend uh, Saxon26's favorite Pokemon. Is for right? Yeah. But uh, stat-wise, it's not a very good Pokemon. It knows it learns a lot of HMs though. It's actually kind of funny. Oh wow, this got a Rattata level 48. Wow. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's it's a decent Pokemon, but it's not like something you take on a team oh. worthy. <laughs> I like that Pokemon because it's one of the first ones you see. Yeah, I do too. It's cute. I love Sentra. I have good memories of Sentra playing through the Heart Gold and Silver. I've been really wanting to play Heart Gold and Silver again. <laughs> well, lately. Well, you have them. Yeah. I've always played Gold. I've never played Silver myself because I, 
I own both back in the day. Yeah, I have, uh, I have played both of them, and I've really liked both of them, really. So, that's why I'm kind of more of a fan of Ho-Ho or Lugia. Lugia, so. Yeah. Is this for real? Is this real life? Um, I don't think that's, I think that's, there's the only, only po new Pokemon here is Centric, if I remember correctly. Oh no! I'm sorry, Hopip's here too. Hopip! Hopip is a Gen 2 grass type Pokemon. It's a grass flying type. It's not a very good Pokemon. It, it's not a very good Pokemon, and its family is kind of bad too. Gen 2. Isn't he the Pokemon that has like a, like a leather beater thing, thing for wind or whatever? I know there was like a Gen 2 Pokemon that flew around that kind of had the, like a... A weather meter? Yeah. For like wind, when the wind was getting like low. Yeah, I think so. I think he, like, he, he gets swept away in his Pokedex entry. He talks about how he gets swept maybe away by the wind. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Now these Pokemon are more higher level than what we fought before, so <laughs> I don't know why it was at the beginning it was like, oh, we got a fight with these level 38 Pokemon, but these level 48 Pokemon are fine. What is stockpiling? Okay, what it does is it, it's stockpiling food, and if it can do it up to three times, it can stockpile up to three. And if it uses the move either spit up, it does a lot of damage to you, and based on how many times it's stockpiled. And if, or if it uses swallow, it swallows its stockpile and heals based on that. Um, I mean, stockpile. Oh, those little tricksters. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a weird, weird move. Because that can just did it instead of stockpile one. Oh, he stockpiled one. Yeah, he can do it up to three times. I kind of took him out before he could. Oopsie. <laughs> Hopip is a. It's kind of a weird Pokemon because. I, I've used the Hoppip family a lot in my playthroughs of Gold and Silver, and I frankly like them, but their stats are really horrible. Uh, it evolves into Skip Plume, and then, at, then again it evolves into Jump Pluff, which I love Jump Pluff's design, it's really cute. But, I don't know, I just, I can't, I, I, there's nothing to, nothing worth using them, honestly. So we're getting up close to the warehouse where they're they're storing all these Pokemon they're kidnapping from uh, Four Island. From Man, they gotta stay in business somehow. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell you what. Yeah. By the way, the music that's playing on these on these levels, I really love them to death because uh, they're golden remixes of gold and silver tunes. They are. I just now realized yeah. that. Yeah, I really like that. Oh my god. They're just really throwing the gold and silver here. Yeah, this is kind of where the game's open. I was like, oh, you remember all the Pokemon that are past 150? Yeah, let's just go all gold and silver on you here. <laughs> I really like that, though. Fire Blast. Yeah. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> You're wanting to know what's inside this warehouse? It's better you didn't know, for your own sake, I mean. Ooh, that just makes me more curious. Yeah, you can go up to the warehouse and you can talk to it. It says Amber entered the password. Golding need log. Another password is needed to open the door. Oh. So we need to go find where the other password is for this. Uh, but yeah, as of right now, there's actually I think you can go southward. If you go get another cut, uh, like a Pokemon that knows cut, you can get that Pokemon ball real quick. Hop it! Hop it! I like hop it. Flamethrower! I remember which Pokemon I cut Oh, Charizard knew cut. That's what it was. Yeah. And then we got rid of it. I'm sorry. Gosh, darn it. I didn't know that. I, I thought we were pretty much done with cut at this point. <laughs> and, then, and then the game's like, nope, I've got one more cut for you. Goldie Need Log. Yeah. Now, I don't believe. I think there's. Um, when I look at my town map here, I think there might be something else um, down south of this island. You know what, Venusaur, you yeah. can go for it. What? Yeah. Memorial Pillar. Oh, yeah, that's right. We'll, we'll take a look at that later, because um, we're going to pretty much explore the rest of Five Island in the next episode. I just want to go get that from the bar. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that.
So as of right now, our plans kind of run up, hit a snag on the route. We can't go into, um, we can't go into the warehouse because, well, we can't stop them because we don't have both of them. The, um, codes. If I can talk. Sleep powder? Leech seed is such a quick move. I know, I'm poisoned. Wow, I'm right here at the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna go get someone that knows to cut. I mean, I'm not even gonna be using me this one. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know, I know what you mean. I'm gonna give a little bit of show time here. <laughs> right. Do a Venusaur. Use cut. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's just a max potion. It was nothing. I mean, it's worth it. Yeah. Does my same slash no cut? Let me see. Slash. Yeah, he does cut. Okay. Just get him. I'm just gonna get him up. I'll just I'll go ahead and get it since I don't want I don't like having po straight pokeballs on the field. <laughs> You're like, I'm kind of like you. I don't like that. We've learned too much of each other. Yeah. All right, Venusaur, you get, you got your you got your short time for a minute. Oh, oh, box. Why do now, I have two scythers? I think I traded you one when we were doing the trades. One's 28, and one's 25. Holy cow! Yeah. There we go. We got our things here. No more straight Pokeballs. Okay, so I think we're gonna call it here on this episode. We did a lot. We went over basically, we went to Four Island, we stopped Team Rocket at the Icewell Cave, and we even came here, ventured Five Island a little bit, in order to kind of mosey on over to the warehouse to kind of look at it. We entered the password at least. One password. Yeah. So, what we're probably gonna do for the next episode, and. Uh, there might not be too much in the next episode. The next episode might be a little just filler. I, I plan on, uh, we plan on. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm so invisible, you, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. Um, pretty much, what I'm pl what we're planning to do is, I want to go over to. We're gonna go explore the other places of Five Island. We're gonna go. Well, first and foremost, since we've already been here to the meadow, right here, we're going to go down here south to Memorial Pillar. There isn't much here, but it's a nice place to go start off. And then after that, we're going to go up here to the the top portion of Five Island, where we can go to Resort Gorgeous, uh, Water Labyrinth, and then Lost finally Cave. Lost Cave, which Lost Cave is a dungeon that we can explore. We're going to go do that before we head over to Six Island. So we might be doing that in the next episode. So that, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.